This is going to be a quick and simple explanation, I guess, to how my house is wired. Let's get started. So it's my utility power coming in, and uh, it goes around and it goes to a uh, 200 amp uh, disconnect, which is pretty much standard on newer homes. I had to do this when I uh, closed the bottom years ago. So now we'll go to the other side of the wall. So then the utility power comes in uh, through that bottom uh, and uh, goes up and around to the top. That's labeled line and the center logs are load. And this is a 200 amp transfer switch for the generator. And then the generator is tied in at the bottom and the generator is sitting right under here. And uh, so that part uh, was pretty simple, or I think anyway. So then the power comes up, you know, just like any old household. Got your two hots and your neutral. And um, I've had a lot of questions about this, but uh, this is how I've separated all, all my neutrals and grounds for uh, the circuits that I wanted to run on solar, or the battery banks anyway, you know, in case of a power outage. And then uh, that's my start and stop for my uh, generator. And it's actually pretty quiet in here, so I'll go ahead and start that thing up. And it's like right below us, so. I don't know if you could hear that thing start up or not, but it's pretty darn quiet. And then uh, down here is a 125 amp breaker, which feeds the sub panel downstairs, and uh, I'll go into some of that. So let me go ahead and shut the generator off, and we'll go downstairs. So nothing I've shown so far is very unconventional except for maybe the uh, 200 amp transfer switch. You won't see that in every house and uh, also the uh, separated out circuits. But anyway that 125 amp breaker upstairs goes to this 100 amp breaker. And uh, I added this panel when I bought the house because uh, I actually enclosed all this in. And then up on the uh, upper left there is a 30 amp uh, solar grid tie and that's what feeds the inverter in the uh, solar room there and I'll show you that. So coming out here we got 30 amps at 110 and uh, 110 volts that is and it feeds this inverter here and then it comes out of the inverter goes through this meter base uh, with a big surge protector and uh, feeds all the designated circuits and those are the circuits I showed you upstairs that uh, you know I wired nutted off uh, and that is legal to do it that way and uh, also there's a couple circuits that have been added for uh, loads that, you know, I wanted, like refrigeration, things like that. On the DC side is another story. I would recommend that you uh, go through uh, some of my videos, especially maybe hooking up Mike's system. Uh, I think I called it setting up your own solar thing or something. Um, that's a lot more, you know, informative than this is because this is just a, uh, this is just a mess of stuff here and uh, it'd be really hard to explain so uh, I would recommend just looking around uh, you know maybe at that and, and some other videos and when the solar and wind can't keep up or I need more power air conditioning things like that or maybe helping people out I can always go to the diesel generator and um, we had about a week and a half of rain here so uh, I got a lot of other things done too and uh, maybe I'll try to tag that on to the end of this one I decided it was time to move the battery bank. Uh, it was all sitting up there on the bench, so I decided I need my bench space back, and uh, so I'm moving them down here underneath uh, this battery bank here. And uh, while I have this one out, I'm going to go ahead and do the maintenance on it as well. So I got all my uh, cables and uh, copper plates uh, out here on the bench, and I laid out the uh, cables just the way they were on the batteries, you know, so they'll go right back on the way they were. Now, since I'm going to move the battery bank further away, uh, by about three feet, I'm going to bump up the uh, size of the cable going up to my bus bars behind there to uh, two watt cable. And I'll uh, be crimping the ends on there and uh, doing the uh, shrink wrap. So, all I'm going to need for this process is going to be my battery cables, two watt, uh, paramedical scissors to cut the uh, shrink tubing, hammer, hammer crimper. The terminal ends, razor knife to strip the wire, and a torch to uh, shrink, shrink to the So this is how you do it right here. We're going to walk the wire around, and then we're going to cut it lengthwise, take the housing off, and there 
there we go. This is really nice wire, by the way. This is uh, all copper zinc coated. And we'll take our scissors here, cut a piece of tubing, put that over there. Try to get all the wire inside this terminal. Most of it, anyway. Put it in the hammer crimper. Better be good with a hammer because that could be pretty bad for you. Oops. I did the negative cable, uh, sort of a standard for boats now, or a lot of DC is yellow for. Uh, negative red for positive so now I just got to crimp this one on there and there's a better look at that wire there's some nice stuff got the new cables made and uh, they're gonna go through there and up with the uh, 24 volt battery bank wires and then uh, the hook in back there Whew, I haven't been back there in a long time we'll see now we'll just start Sipping it all together. You don't ever want to use like a really powerful tool, you know, to run your uh, bolts down. You want to uh, come back and do it by hand because you don't want to mess your batteries up. That's for sure. That would suck. Now, those are all my negatives going down the center there. And uh, the way I linked all those together is to uh, jump the two out wire plus all these copper plates I made. And this is just three quarter inch copper pipe pounded flat and then with uh, holes drilled in it. Now when hooking your battery bank together, it really doesn't matter what size it is. Uh, the bigger the more dangerous I guess, but uh, you're going to involve your steel wrench in there. You really want to have your thinking cap on um, because uh, you short one of these things out with a steel wrench, uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. But um, you know, once it's all hooked together, uh, you'd be good to go. And also on a battery bank, you want to pull you know, your negative from one end and you're positive from the other end, so I need to go into the uh, upper cabinet there and get that connection made first, and my batteries will be last. So we're all hooked together now, and I'm uh, just going to roll this battery bank in. This is an AGM battery bank, and uh, the 24 volt one is a uh, lead acid. That's why I've got this gasket going around in the hole in the very top of the battery box. And it goes out there to my solar fan, which uh, takes care of the gas. And these here are totally sealed, so you know even if they went underwater, they would, uh, you know, discharge a little bit from the water, but they'd be fine. So I got the battery bank all moved and uh, moved the mother batteries over, and uh, I'm all about maintenance. And everything I got is old, including me. I mean, shoot, even the motorcycle uh, 95th anniversary. Uh, if you take from 03, it makes it a 98 model. Um, Toolbox is a uh, 75th anniversary, and uh, if you take Snap On started in 1920, so uh, makes that thing uh, pretty old too. But you know, I, I maintain it. A lot of tools are a lot older than the toolbox, and uh, I think it's just uh, it's the way I roll. And I got a whole bunch of tools at the airport. I got a whole other box I operate out of. So uh, I'm kind of a nerd like that. That's for sure. So I cleaned and serviced my jack too. I'm just that nerdy. So yeah, I'm loving. I mean, I kind of dreaded cleaning the toolbox all day, but I'm I'm loving it now that it's all waxed and everything looks good. And and uh, what else are you gonna do on a rainy day? So anyway, I know that video kind of sucked and. Uh, Eventually, I'm going to clear out this space so that, you know, it's a wide open, except for the motorcycle. You know, get some of that drywall put up and uh, insulate the walls. Uh, but, you know, it's day to day. This is how it goes. So you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. I love killing flies.